What is up, guys? Today we are going to talk about this. Indy's ladies. Because it's fair. It's fair. It's not my I'm lady. Not gonna, it's I'm your not lady. Gonna, I'm not going to hat tip this. Hat, no, tip the hat. No, tip the hat. No, tip the hat. I tip the hat. Okay. Tip the hat. There we go. <laughs> tip it. <laughs> so, um, this 2010. This 2010 Honda Fit Sport. Five speed manual. Um, there's not really any other like upgraded features you can get as far as a fit is concerned. You either get you the sport get, or you don't. Well, no, you could get, get the navigation. Get the nav, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is not the, so this is a sport, five speed, no nav. Correct. Um, 2010, 163,000 miles. 67. 167. 167,000 yeah. miles. So this car is 14 years old. It has 167,000 miles on it. So it's about the average amount of miles for the age, just yeah. about. About, yeah. Uh, I am actually the second owner of this car. The first owner uh, was my ex-girlfriend. She bought it brand new. Uh, so I've been around this car since it was new. Yeah. Um, which has been so a long time now. This is, uh, this is a car that we've been around since it came off the dealership, which yeah, is pretty much. great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little more uh, beat up, but you know. Cosmetically, Cosmetically. sure, it's it needs some attention. That's a word. <laughs> There's some things that could be done to it we'll get there but uh mechanically mechanically this thing has been amazing um the motor itself is stock nothing has been done to it uh exhaust is mostly stock it has an hks axle back that was put on probably about let's just say forty thousand ago probably um, that long ago that's something i'm just yeah yeah 30 to 40k here. let's just say it's about right it doesn't yeah. matter it definitely looks it because it never gets cleaned right which i would like to clean i probably will anyways Point is though, um, the engine itself is stock. The transmission is stock. Everything on this car is basically stock. Um, won't be forever. But in the meantime, like I said, it has 167,000 miles on it and it has been immensely reliable. And mm -hmm. I mean like immensely reliable. Like the G's really reliable. Yeah. And we've had to deal with more on that. Um, 350s are not very reliable, so we won't talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Nissan really nailed down the reliability as far as the V6s are concerned when they had the VHR motor come out. Agreed completely. Um, especially post-2013 when the gallery gasket issue was fixed. Yes, definitely. Um, but as far as these, you're looking at, you know, dual cam or a single cam. Single cam, L15, um, 1.5 liter. 1.5 makes 100 and what, 10 horsepower? 110, 120. Yeah, it's one. A lot of power. It's a really a uh, low amount of power. It's a it's an eco box. It's, yeah, so it's eco you know box. you're not pushing the limits of the motor on this car necessarily. No, um, but up to this point, the only major things that have had to be done, uh, it did have a set of Function Form Type Two coils over coilovers, which we replaced with a set of VCs after probably 120,000 miles. Yeah. So as and far that's as not really yeah. pertaining to the car, mm -hmm. but it's just something to. You know, something to bring up yeah if you have original suspension and you have like two hundred thousand miles 160,000 miles you're gonna need to replace it the struts are done yeah for sure that's that's pretty for normal. sure that's a common wear and tear item uh the motor itself has been obscenely perfect i actually don't think the valves on this have ever been adjusted i know they should be they should have been done twice by now right um and they have not been done but also the valve train does not make any noise so no uh, not too concerned with it so realistically the only thing that has been done with this engine is oil changes right not always on time <laughs> yeah i'm just being fair more often than not probably not on time probably probably but it does get them maybe yeah. like a thousand miles late yeah but it gets them yeah but like the engine that's literally it you know nothing has been replaced on this i've done some spark plugs on it once um the air filter has been replaced a handful of times because it's an air filter the engine on these things is ridiculously reliable. Mm -hmm. um, like we've talked about, if you saw our other video, talking about uh, spark plugs and coil packs on like a G or a 350, you need to replace the coil packs with those things when you do the spark plugs. You don't have to do that with these. Uh, our friend has a 2013 fit sport with, I think probably about like 210 to 220 on it now. And he's had to replace one coil pack just last week. Right. Like literally last week. Yeah. Um, and that's ridiculous. Because again, it's amazing. Know, yeah. We'll do Nissan stuff. You, if you move those coil packs, it's like, oh, God, I got to yeah. replace them. It's yeah. Done. Yeah. They it's, don't make a proper connection anymore. Random misfire. Yeah. That's it. It's done. Yeah. You just, if, you, if you move them at all, if you can like loosen the bolt, you're like, yeah. Oh, exactly. It's done. 
Now, as far as the transmission is concerned, uh, there's really only two items that are worth talking about, right? Uh, yeah, this thing did have a premature clutch failure at probably about 150,000 miles. If I had to stab in the dark, I don't remember exactly. The clutch was replaced with a OEM clutch. Uh, the spring on the sprung clutch actually broke out of its little holder mm. and just destroyed the clutch. It was done. Okay. That's, I mean, I'll put it this way. Again, our friend with his 210 to 20,000 mile car, does he need a clutch? Yes. Does his clutch still work? And is it the original one? Yeah, it's that's great. pretty impressive that like, you can honestly, have a clutch last until 150,000 miles for sure. Well, dude, and, and him at 210, 220. Yeah, like, absolutely. You never hear of a clutch lasting that long. Yeah. And so then the slave cylinder was just replaced as well, right? The clutch master, the clutch the master, master cylinder. cylinder yeah. Well, so funny enough, um, this started having some clutch issues again after the clutch replacement. Uh, typically with a clutch master cylinder, if it's going bad, you can typically look like under the dash and see that it's physically leaking into the car. But this was not doing that. Uh, so we kind of just hoped it was a clutch slave, not a clutch master cylinder. Yep. Uh, we replaced the clutch slave. It was definitely the clutch master cylinder. Just kind of is what it is, you know? Yep. So, so the master cylinder is uh, was just replaced. Yes, the master cylinder was just replaced on this. Um, it is an expensive thing to replace if you don't have the time, like I did. Um, just so you know, the master cylinder is basically tucked. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of labor. Well, you have to, to that, that is one only complaint on working on these things is to do about anything. You have to pull this cowl, yeah. these wipers, the, the wiper hood, motor, the hood, the, the cowl, the wipers, they the all got to come itself, off. Yeah. The lower cowl that's made out yeah. of that's, And that's if you want to do plugs, that's if you want to do um, valve the valve adjustment, the um, suspension. Yeah, the suspension is a part of that. Yeah. Obviously, the clutch master cylinder, anything yeah. brake master cylinder. Basically, anything that's not an oil change or an air filter change is or, or like a radiator, full, full coolant, yeah. yeah, is, is going to require you to pull that shit off, which is a little annoying but i mean it to is, be fair, it is the rs was the same yeah the rs was pretty much identical when yeah. i did the trd suspension on the 2010 2010 okay yeah. 2010 rs so, so it was the same year as this the front suspension was a pain in the ass same thing yeah yep. had to pull the whole front end apart to get the whole thing and the hood is like the same size it's like a little wing yeah it's kind of, it's actually a really yeah. cool looking hood right yeah it That's looks like a like a little back glider yeah right yeah <laughs> that's one of the things i really like about this yeah totally actually, John's like, I like this. I like the 2010 front better than the 2013. I'd have to take a look I'll at it. I'll show you the differences, but the fog light sections here, these are more like swooped. And yeah. 2012-2013 is like a flat. Good to know. I'll show you pictures. When we look for ours, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. I, I'm going to get one. Hint, 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 when I get my other one, because yeah. this is mine, but I'm gonna have another one. I yeah. <laughs> so uh, that takes care of engine, that takes care of transmission. We've okay. talked about suspension. Yeah. Brake maintenance is normal, no real issues. There was some hair yeah. that got caught in the e brake, but we cleared that. There was some hair that got caught in the e brake. Yeah. Uh, front brakes are disc brakes. They're super reliable, they're great. The rear brakes are drum brakes. Drum brakes make me sad, but a tonneau box. Yeah. Is what it is. But I believe that conversions are not terrible on this. I don't actually know anymore. I need to look up, uh, look into it because I would do a rear disc conversion. There I bet you could do a Mini Cooper like rear conversion or something, something like that. Because yeah. they do that on Integris. You know, you know what I found out recently? Uh, this is vaguely off topic. I was in the Fit subreddit, I think. Yeah. We're on one of the groups. And uh, the JDM models have a thinner, separable rear axle. So they made these shims that you could put in, you, you slide them over the axle, and they actually can bring your wheels out. No way! Yeah, but they don't fit the US ones. Mother effers. But we could probably figure something out to make it like happen, you know what I mean? But yeah, they, they made little shims that actually go behind the thing, so it actually tilts the whole spindle. Those up. damn jabronis. And like, I think they sold them in like sets of like one, two, uh, three degrees of negative camera. I want. That's sick, right? I know, because that was an issue I had with the Yaris. I couldn't get flush fitment without rubbing the tires because it well, didn't camber in when it compressed. The fronts of these, Cusco sells uh, front camera kits for these that actually replace the top. Uh, top oh, section. that's great. So like when we do stuff, we need yeah. to do that stuff. Yeah, totally. That, that other tire rub. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, engine, suspension, brakes, transmission, all covered. Let's, um, this isn't really part of the reliability, but, um, you know, Honda paint. Honda paint sucks. Let's just, that's, is you know what, what it Honda is. The interior is in great shape. Yeah. Uh, that's not really a reliability thing, but no. we really just wanted to kind of, uh, give you guys, um, a, a, look a quick rundown of yeah. like what the fit's like. 
Um, 167,000 miles, 14, 14 years. years old. Yep. Um, and we've we've seen this car age as it as it went. Yep. Um, it's great. It's a great car. It is. So um, we're both thinking about doing fits too. Let us know if we should. And even if you think we shouldn't, probably too bad. Like, <laughs> you know. Yep. 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 Because like it's a it's the perfect daily. I love. Like fun. honestly, and like. I'm kind of like questioning, do I look at a GD3? Maybe, maybe not. I really love the GE8. I don't really yeah. like the GKs. I like the GKs. I don't know. But I got to see what you don't like I about think, them. We got to talk about I think about it's because it. the interior is a little bit cheap. Yeah. We'll, I, we'll I, I like the way the GKs look, like just bone they stock. Do, they I really do like offer them. some good parts for yeah. the GK that they don't offer for the GD okay. and the GE8. But um, I really like this generation. For sure. So. Anyways, let us know what you guys thought of the video. If you guys have any requests for fit related content, let us know as well. Because we're going to probably have some. We're going to try. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to do some more fit content of just this car, if not maybe others. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. And we appreciate you. And advance. We definitely advance.